Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to add curvature details to any kind of stamps or normal details that you want to add to your model. Uh, so first you want to bake the model you have to get the texture ready. All right, and then let's go ahead and add a material or whatever you want to do for that. Just get some kind of metal on there or whatever. Maybe do this darker one. It'll show up a little better. Okay, so now we have that. Let's do a new layer, layer for the uh, actual stamping and details. Let's just do... some random lines or whatever. And maybe we'll throw in a stamp here. Okay. And then we go to properties, remove everything but height from that layer and then push it down into the model. So we get that depth going on. And so currently it just kind of like, you know, shows the depth. There's no actual material uh, curvature added onto the normals edges and whatnot to give you the similar effect that it would have um, on the textures for like these harder edges and whatnot. So in order to add that curvature to these normal details, I have a quick little trick that I do. I go to File, Export Textures, and I use my default export preset, uh, which if you want to pause the video here, just copy all this, and that's how I export and hit export, open output directory, close that, open the, that back up. I'm pretty sure this is the correct one. So we drag that into our shelf here, close that folder, click texture, and current session, because we don't want it to save. That would just build up a bunch of stuff we don't need. Then go to texture set settings where you bake the textures and replace that normal map. And then hide the layer that you added those details. And now you'll see that the normal map is replaced with the one that we just imported back into Substance Painter. And now we go to bake mesh maps again, turn off normal, and then uh, bake that material uh this is uh useful for just targeting one material at a time if your texture set list has multiple materials and now we have the curvature details so now you have that edge wear along the uh normal details that you added and yeah, it's a pretty fancy little way to get those on there without having to use anchors, which I guess anchors are another way to do it. I just find this a lot easier and faster for my workflow. And you can go into like the material and play with how much edge wear you want on there, stuff like that, or how shiny you want it to be. So yeah, I hope that helps and I guess uh, from there you would just kind of Go to File, Export Textures, and Export. 
with my preset and the textures will look like that with the uh, edge wear on your normals it'll make it look like high poly details pretty neat all right have a good night